Hello and welcome to my studio vlog. Not so much of a studio vlog this week, more of a what's in my pencil case. Um, some of you who know me now will be laughing and thinking, pencil case? You must mean pencil cases. I do have a lot. I have loads. But this is the one I go to when I want to uh, quickly grab something I know I've got most things in there so let's just haul them all out onto the table a little more difficult than you'd expect because it is packed jam full of all the things that I take with me when I'm going out and about give it a quick shake try and get everything out there nope it's not coming let's keep going pull it out girl pull it out yeah, there we go. We're getting there. We're getting to the end. And then there's a whole heap of stuff right there. All in that pencil case. Who'd have believed it? It's a bit like the TARDIS, actually. Don't you think? TARDIS. TARDIS pencil case. Actually, that would be my ideal. So the first things that I will pull out of this wonderful eclectic mess will be this a lovely uni chalk marker. Um, uni makes some great things obviously and I love all of their stuff. This one is just like a basic chalk marker, uh, works on black paper which is why I probably have it in here. The next thing that I can delve in for is this boy and this is a Pentel Micro Needlepoint Precision Corrector so if I take the lid off here I hope it's in the square there. yeah you can see it's got a very fine point there so that is also in there also handy for if I am um, wanting to correct something <laughs> Um, these two are um, smudge sticks or blenders, whatever you want to call them. Or there is another name for them. Can't think of it off my head at the minute. But yes, torsion. Is that a torsion stick? I don't know. I may have made that up in one of my cheese dreams. I don't know. Let's pop those over there. Uh, this is quite handy and interesting. It is a Pentel BGHS pen. And basically, you know, when you were at school and you had those beautiful pens that had all the different colors. Well, this one, I think I got it from Colt Pens. I'm sure I did actually. And you can pick all of the different colored inks that go into yours. So. I've got a few different ones in there. I've got green and orange and pink and black and well, basically all the colours. It sounded a little bit like technical dream coat going for there. Uh, maybe I should audition. Anyway, pop that one on one side. Uh, your bog standard compass. Um, I think I have one of these in every pencil case that I own. I do have a lot people but this one is my go-to if somebody said right we're going out I quickly grab this because I know it's got the basics of everything that I could need in here. So compass, uh, to go with a compass I have this beautiful circular protractor, I don't know if you can see actually, uh, there, yeah, just flap it around a little bit and you might be able to see it's just one of the ones that you get in schools. Uh, but really handy also for drawing circles around because it's circular. So if I need, I do a lot of circle things I've found in my, it's one of my little things that I tend to use is a circle and then draw into the circle and half out of the circle. But yeah, that is the next thing. A pencil sharpener. This one has a lovely piece of beautiful tape on it to hold it shut because it does tend to fly about a bit, but it's got quite mangled as you can see. Still does a really good job. It's got a large size hole and a small hole. I don't even know the make of this. It's something that I picked up from one of my students at school. Nope, still don't know. Anyway, there we go. Pencil sharp now. 
another pencil sharpener this one looks to be quite a nice boy this is from one of the scroller boxes that I have had it's a KUM um, yeah KUM made in Germany and it's a really good sharpener so that's the one that goes in there not that I've got an awful lot of pencils that need sharpening in this kit because what I tend to do is to uh, take with me mechanical pencils because they're just easier um, stuff carrying like a pencil sharpeners with me um, so oh yeah here's another pencil sharpener and a rubber Ooh, look at this got a rubber on one end and a pencil sharpener on the other end just two box standard one hole one um, and a little handy thing to keep it all together so you don't get messy dirty bits Two bits, what's that? Anyway, moving on from that, a button. Everyone needs a button in their pencil case. I don't quite know why I, ha I have one in here. Uh, oh yeah, button. You never know, could come in handy. Uh, I've got a couple of acrylic paints in here. I tend to take these because uh, I like a little bit of glitz on my things not that this one's glitzy this is just your um it's like yellow ochre there was a specific reason why this one was in here but it's a pebio pbo i don't know how you say it um just a studio acrylic in yellow ochre number 27 if you were interested um that came from a bigger set that my daughter got from hobby craft i think it had loads in i think there's about 30 different ones and they have been an amazing buy because they've been used so much um so yeah that's in there and also from that same set there is this beautiful gold um acrylic iridescent gold 352 also pbo pebio i always used to say pbo but I've heard people say it in different ways, so I don't know. That's the way I say it. Next, in this beautiful set of things, I have a uh, Do Craft Stick It Sticky Glue Pen. PVA glue, always handy to have. Nice to have it in a pen style. Um, it's just easy to carry around with me. Although I would carry around great big pots of glue, given half a chance. The next thing in my pile of goodies here is, talking of metallics, uh, a Faber-Castell Metallics Heart of Gold, this one's called, and it's basically just like a little fibre pen, I don't know if you can see, a little fibre pen nib there. Also, because I like glitz in my things, talking of glitz, this beautiful thing i think it's probably run out at the minute and i need to replace it it's a wink of stella brush and it's one of the zig um wink of stella brand it basically is like a brush pen but it, this one's a clear one and it just adds like a little layer of glitter over the top of everything i am a confessed magpie a self-confessed magpie if there's anything glittery you'll find me with it next thing i have derwent paint pen i have a whole set of these uh, this one's a white one because it's really good for just going over uh, a piece of artwork if you want to add some detail in rather than carrying gouache with you it's permanent it's opaque and it works really well on top of my work it's one of those push things where you have to push to get it working but then it flows quite nicely it says store horizontally which is a good job because it's in my pencil case so that's how that gets stored anyway next thing oh this is the one that goes with the gold one this is um the silver version and it's called nothing else metals uh, i do believe it is a silver one yeah so that's the silver version again for the magpie in me mini mister not quite sure where its top's gone but the reason i have this will all become clear with the next thing i'm going to show you which is my very mini set of de la Rowney watercolors i usually have another set which i keep oh hello I decided to jump out 
I have another set which I keep by my desk at work um, and I've taken that one out but this is the other one that I take with me clearly never been used the other one is much more well used but this is the one the small one that I can fit into a pencil case so that was or a variety of this will always go with me at some point in time I am going to um, put together a little palette of my Dan Smith paints which I love the most but for now just a little bit of colour to add in something that's what I'll take with me okay more erasers so let's go through these as a bunch shall we okay so ooh, there's more hold on hold on there's another one there's another one <laughs> I must make a lot of mistakes that's what they say read it yes probably true okay I think I think I've got more so first of all la 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 shove this out of the way for a minute these are wonderful I actually adore them they are the mono ones and they have a little tip on them there that's a dirty tip uh, basically it's just a twist up and down and obviously I have these in every pencil case I've got so these two must have been transferred over from another pencil case so one of them must have jumped in from another pencil case I do have many um, so those two they are mono and they were Tom that's Tombow monos I apologize and they were from Colt pens if I remember correctly so that's those uh, more mono erasers these ones are more um, specific size wise so this is like a like a little rectangular point just for getting into details and things that's a mono zero also it's like a push top kind of a situation going on this one is another mono zero and this one is a different size it's kind of just a little very handy dandy detail eraser great for getting into all the spots where you just don't want to rub out everything this is a Winsor Newton Griffin eraser. I rarely use this. It. <laughs> it looks so dirty. It's just been in there for so long. I, the only reason I don't use it is because it's a bit too harsh uh, on, on my paper. But I think it's probably quite useful if you're trying to erase something like a pen or something like that. I don't know. Probably, yeah, pen work maybe is the best. The next one is a maphead or mapped one. You use that one quite a lot. That's just your basic standard school rubber. Um, I can't, I think this is a WH Smith one. I do believe I got that from WH. This one I picked up from a craft store that used to be in town that sadly closed down. And I just thought it was quite a nice one and it really is excellent. Uh, I've had that for quite some time. It's a plastic eraser, Pentel one, and it just says Pray for Japan on it. So that must have been for a specific thing. But yeah, got that from there. It was quite a cheap uh, buy, I think, at the time, because I think they were closing down, which was sad, because it was one of my favourite places. The next one I haven't even opened yet, but it's been put in there for um, the fact that it is a dust-free eraser and I have yet to try it so I can't even tell you how good this one is yet because you, as you can see it's done this plastic wrapping. Okay um a water brush always handy to have I know I've got my mister that I showed you but this water brush got a fairly fine tip on it so that's quite nice as well. To go along with that is something that I got in a scroller box Located seems to have run away. Where are you? Ah, there it is. I thought this was broken when it arrived. <laughs> it came in a scroller box. I thought, what? And then I thought, that tip there looks broken, but I thought it looked too clean to be a broken thing. So I then consulted the booklet that usually comes with scroller boxes and found out that you actually have to pull that bit out and voila we have a little brush 
which is very handy because I there is a brush in the little Dale Rowney set that I have over there, but it's small and this one is like a proper hand size one. I have to be really careful when I put this back in because you can see this little hair coming up there and that really annoys me. I'm brushing. Try and squidge that down and pull it back in without disturbing all the hairs. That's the only thing I don't like about these. That is the only thing I don't like about them, but very handy for popping in your pencil case and not getting there. Oh my gosh, I'll save that for later. <laughs> this one is great. This is a Sakura Sumo Grip, um, one of those mechanical pencils I was telling you about. Obviously you can refill it with leads. Uh, this one comes with 0.5 leads, but you can refill it with your own 0.5 leads. Just a nice handy size. Hello, here's another mono eraser. <laughs> Two of these in here. That can go over there. That's like the one we described previously. Um, Papermate non-stop uh, pencil. This is a twist top one. I keep thinking it's a push, but it's a twist top. Another mechanical pencil. Um, another mechanical pencil that I have in here is this one, which is the Pentel, also another 0.5 refillable, so that goes in there. And then, up in here, another mechanical pencil, what a surprise. This is a thick boy though, look, it's got a very thick 2mm tip on him, so he's good for sketching you want to be a little more daring and go with the flow. Next one is, I think these were made for children but I like them. <laughs> that's a paper mate and that's on 1.3 millimeter tip so I've got varying tip uh, sizes in my mechanical pencils for drawing. Okay so there's another of the paper mate Mechanical pencils, obviously like those a lot. And I think that's it for the mechanical pencils. This one's a nice one. This is a, if I want to sketch. Um, I sometimes like to use a colour pencil and these are really good for that. It's a Caran d'Ache bicolour and you have blue on one side and a red on the other side. And that is really good for sketching with. A crochet hook. <laughs> um, have no idea why that is in there, but it's a four millimeter one. So if I ever feel the need to crochet, I've got a hook. This one is a little um, what do I call them? Paper clip, bendy paper clip thing to hold pages in place. Because if you're out and about, sometimes it might blow around, and that is handy just to keep things in check. Let's take these three together. These are uni pen markers. I've got a 0.05, I have a 0.1 and a 0.3. Uh, this one is an edding. This is a profi pen, 0.1, so that's quite a small head on it. Let's just take that off. It's a tiny little head, not as bad as a 0.05, but quite small for detail, so it's good. Uh, this is just a style file marker. I think, I do believe this came in a scroller box and it is NG9, a neutral grey. And it's got two ends, it's got a chisel tip and it has got a brush point. So that's always handy to have and a nice neutral grey. These are glorious. Um, they are Molotov chrome pens. These give you a really super shine. Um, you can use them on plastic as well and other things, but they work just as well on paper. I don't think they give you as much shine as they do on a plastic, but they are superb. So I've got two different sizes, I think, in there. Couldn't tell you where the thing is that tells me. Oh yeah, here we go on the side. <laughs> that's a two millimeter one. So that's quite a chunky boy. And this one is a finer tip. So 
products. Those, they came from, I want to say Jackson's. I think they were from Jackson's. This is another one of those lovely pens with all the different inks in it. But this is a basic, yeah, basic big pen. Again, probably from WH Smith's. This one is definitely from WH Smith because I remember picking this up. It's a Uniball Air Micro Pen. It's a gel pen. It's really smooth. Quite a thick one for writing with, but really nice for getting some dark lines on. And I liked it because it was colourful. <laughs> uh, crystal. Bic pen ballpoint, but this one's got quite a chunky tip, that's quite nice as well. Always handy for details. A Molotov, uh, this is masking fluid. Um, so if I want to quickly mask something off, I have to be really quick and not let that set, sit for too long, though, otherwise, it's really hard to get off. That's one thing I'll say about it, but it's excellent to have around and about and on the go. A Pilot Laundry Tag Marker. This is a permanent pen, but also you can use this on uh, fabrics as well. So um, I'm not sure why it's in my pencil case, because I don't think I'd be ever drawing on fabric, but that's that one. This is beautiful, it's like a copper ruler, and this is a Derwent copper ruler. I think this came in a scroller box set, and that is lovely, it's really heavy, quite hefty. But I like it, it doesn't bend, it's not going to break, and just a nice thing, and it fits into my pencil case. I have another, <laughs> another set of compasses, obviously I like drawing circles. This is... Um, silver pencil. It's a 1.3. I don't know if you can get these though. It's a Pentel metallic pencil. I had these years. I bought a box of 12 of these because I liked it so much. I um, don't know if it's a push top and it's pushed down. But again, it's like a silvery metallic pencil that works quite nicely in artwork. We're getting to the end people. We're getting to the end. This one is a fine liner. In fact, I have two. Again, I do believe these were from a scroll box. Uh, one of them is a very light grey colour and the other one is in a green. Nice fine line, nice for detailing. This is a Paper Mate Ink Joy. I love the Ink Joys. They're just so smooth to write with and they're many variations and I have a whole set of these in all the different colours. This is one that's made its way into my pencil case and it's just so nice to write with. Um, this is an X-cut little scalpel -y kind of um, hand scalpel cutter and that is always in my pencil case just in case I ever want to do some paper cutting for whatever reason. And last but not least, your very standard school paper mate barrel fine liner with a tip on it. I'm not sure what size the tip on those are, but it's, it's fairly fine. It's probably like a 0.5 or something like that. That's nice to have as well. And that concludes my pencil case haul. We have an empty pencil case. Now the challenge is to fit all that lot back into it. Here we are at the end of the video. Um, and here's this little lot all displayed out now, ready to be transferred perhaps into a brand new pencil case. Ooh, exciting. Um, it's been lovely having you with me and I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe hit the bell so you can see when I post again. TTFN.